Okay, we're here with uh, Jerry Heels at the uh, Spring Fishing and Boat Show. And we're going to talk Lawrence now because there is something new, kind of touch-like, isn't it? Yeah, everything uh, now, our, uh, our higher-end units are all touchscreen now. It's yeah. uh, big for, the, uh, for this year, for sure. Mm -hmm. So how does uh, the new touchscreen vary from the Gen 2s and... Give well, us, give us the lowdown. Sure. The uh, the new HDS uh, touchscreens are very similar to the uh, HDS uh, Gen 2s. Um, they're the same speed. They're the same power. Uh, the, just the big changes are that it's it's touchscreen. You can zoom in by touch. You can zoom out. Uh, no additional features except for video input, which is a, a nice uh, feature for a lot of people as well. So you can take an underwater camera and uh, put it down, put it through the system, and put it right up on the screen. So you can look at a video. So any camera will, underwater camera, you can just plug in and feed and you can have a look-see. Absolutely. It doesn't have to even be uh, underwater camera. We have uh, a lot of people that uh, that have cruisers that have a camera pointing on their uh, swim platform at the back of the boat to, okay, to be yeah. able to watch their kids. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it, it shows on their screen as well. So you can put any type of video on it. Also, some of the uh, the cruisers have them in their, um, their engine rooms at the back. They have a camera back in there, which I didn't know about, but it is a very popular thing. So. So, Wow, that's, yeah. that's amazing. Now, with the uh, with the touch screens, how, is it all compatible? Let's say you know a couple of years ago, myself for example, I have the LSS one. Mm -hmm. Is it compatible with the LSS one, LSS two? How Ab does that all work? Absolutely, yes. You can uh, you can. Uh, they're compatible with all of our units, all of our HDS units. You can put uh, side imaging on uh, uh, an HDS uh, Gen two uh, from the uh, new touch screen. So the touch screen, all you have to do is buy the transducer for side imaging, and uh, you're up and running. In other words, the the box that ran the LSS2 is now built in. Okay. So you uh, you just buy the transducer. So you buy the touchscreen uh, unit and then just put the transducer only on it. It runs everything uh, right out of the uh, unit itself. Uh, and if you didn't have uh, side imaging before, it'll also run all the other units. So you, if you had a 5 or a 7 or anything in the HDS uh, Gen 2, it'll run side imaging on those as well at the same time. Oh, very so, nice. So Definitely. Big bonus that way. Yeah. Okay, Jerry, uh, we've, we've talked about it here, now, it, now it's time for, to touch the demo, to get the fingers on. All right, we'll, uh, we'll start with the, uh, with the pages up in the uh, top right-hand corner. Real easy setup because the, the screen comes up in front of you, shows you, asks you what you want to do. So if you want to look and just see sonar, you touch it, up comes your sonar screen. Yeah. Real, real easy that way. You go this way and you say, well, I want to just see my chart. Chart screen, it'll just be chart. So that'll be your chart. Zoom in on both uh, or all the pages down at the bottom. You can just zoom in. It's extremely fast. You can, I zoomed in too far there, just a little too far. You can zoom out. You can go over here, zoom in, zoom out if you don't want to touch the screen. And you go back. <clears throat> you want to go to structure scan or side imaging, you do that. Yeah. Again, you can go closer to the boat, you can go farther out. We're going out 35, 50 feet off to the right and off to the left of the boat. And still going, be able to go left, just left, just right. Just left, yeah, yeah, just right, you can do options. that. Yeah. You can do, uh, if you want to go steering, uh, just having your compass up, it'll tell you the direction you're going. It looks like you're flying over the water when you're actually looking at it, moving along. If you want to use the compass up, that's fine. Not used too often anymore when you have your chart in there. And we have video input, so you can have a uh, video screen up. We don't have a camera hooked to it right now, but you can hook up any um, uh, camera from uh, any camera that uh, is made and hook onto it being uh, a fish finding one that you can put in the water or you can just have a camera from, from the flybridge. Yeah. The other thing is you have here, you have hot screens where you set up a screen the way you want it to, to look. So you touch that, then you have a, a blank panel, you decide what you want on that hot screen. You say, well, I just want sonar. So you go there and uh, transfer it over, pull it over, and then there's your sonar is all set up. Uh, you want to go chart with it, you take that and you pull it down, then you got chart and sonar. You save it, then it's saved up on the, the hot screens over here. And you say, well, this is what I want to look. I want to look at just sonar. So you hit that, up comes the sonar. Yeah. You can go back and you say, well, here's one I, I did a little earlier. That one is a hot screen. You have sonar, you had side imaging here, you have mapping up in the corner. You can put anything that you want on the screens and it's done up very, very quickly because they're set up here. And you can change those around, do anything you want. Uh, when you customize them, 
you can go like that. Then his customer may say, well, no, I'd rather have sonar up there and chart down there, and I'd rather have side imaging. Oh, nice. You do that. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's totally changeable any way you want. Then you can you can look and you can change them so they go that way. Oh, my God. Many, 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 yeah, many different yeah, ways of doing it. So, oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, any changes you want. Then you save it, and then next time you're out on the water, you say, well, I want to look at that page. You just hit the hot page, and up it comes. You can change the, the page, like a lot of people don't realize that uh, Lorentz has an orange line around what we call the hot page, which is the page that if you're going to zoom in, that's got an orange line. You see I'm zooming in on that side. Just that side alone, yeah. Well, and say you wanted to zoom in on this side, you just touch that screen. Now this is the hot page, so you can zoom in on that. Very nice. Same with this, you just touch, and now this is the hot page where you zoom in on the chart. So everything is very, very quick uh, that way. Again, you can go back to the original. You can look your waypoints. You touch it, that'll show all the waypoints yeah. you have. You want to hit a waypoint, you just hit it and move on, and it'll it'll show you exactly where you are on the uh, on the page. So it's a it's a pretty smooth system. Um, it's easy to run. I know uh, when I first got the first unit to actually uh, run, I wasn't told how to run it. Mm -hmm. I was put in and said, you know, figure it out yourself uh, before they actually told me, and, and it was extremely easy to do. Yeah. I think I was five minutes and I could figure it all out, except I wasn't sure how to customize a page because I was used to Gen 2s yeah. and Gen 1s. But these are um, they're so easy to use uh, with, the, with the screen, and things are fast. They zoom in quick. They zoom out fast. Um, just very smooth. Uh, the screen's uh, soaking wet. Uh, have no issues with them. I know that was a question, you know, are they going to be tough to use? when they're wet not at all because it's not like an iPad where you just you know finger it in yeah. the zooming is done uh, by a, a touch on the uh, on the actual page so it's um, it's fast the water doesn't affect them it does it doesn't affect it when you you're touching it I've had it wet and moved it around is very quick and that was a question that everybody had with with uh, with touch screens is water going to affect them yeah not in the least uh, same with cold there's no issues with those as well you can uh, you can go back and look at your your sonar readings, which uh, a lot of people don't know that you can do in the Gen 2 or the Gen 1, where you can go back and over something. Uh, if you're down rigging, for instance, and you uh, catch a fish and uh, you get him in the boat and you go, oh, I'd, I'd like to see where I caught him, you can go back in the screen and you'll be able to see the downrigger ball that showed up on the screen yeah. and you'll be able to see the fish actually coming up and hitting that downrigger or the downrigger behind the ball, of course. Yeah. So, And you can mark that, as, of course, at the same time. Same time. Yep. Outstanding. Jerry, once again, always a pleasure from Lawrence. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.